morning all. Okay, let's have one or two games this morning. Uh, two, two, seven, eight, Lion. Uh, should we try maybe a Nimzo Indian or just for fun? Or Benoni? Maybe Benoni with Bishop D6. That'll be fun. The snake. <laughs> snake against the lion. Uh, so how would that go? Bishop A5 here. Bishop D6 here. I'm thinking about this plan. Maybe taking on C3 is good for E4 pressure. It's It's got some ideas behind it and maybe a good surprise weapon for Blitz. Thanks. I will see anyway in this game, hopefully. Uh, so I'm going to just try and go for e4 pressure. Put a break on e5 from white first. Okay, so that bishop now is ready. Ah! What's this? Okay. That's interesting. Christmas hangover. Haven't I just got e4? He's going to play a4. Uh, doesn't E4 just win a piece on that? Yes, big deal. <laughs> okay, <laughs> take the bishop. I don't know, taking the bishop is more tempting than taking the knight for a moment, isn't it? Uh, what's going on? Christmas hangover? <laughs> knight C6. Just protecting the bishop releases my queen. I think that's one useful move. It means my queen doesn't have to guard a5. Uh, it's still guarding c7 as well, so a6 I can get to play soon. Uh, has he played a bit too quickly? If I play a6 here, uh, does gain space. Okay, get that pawn. Is there a problem with that? It's got bishop f6, I suppose. Uh, gives me a g file potentially. Play b5 and bishop b7, or just bishop f5, bishop g6. A bit more solid over on the king side. And he's got queen f6 coming up. That does protect um, d3, though. So queen f6, bishop g6. I can look forward now to all sorts of things. Queen e7, central. Knight e5. I think queen e7 looks the most tempting at the moment. Queen e7 just looks good. Evict the queen away from f6. And again, just take central space, these central squares. If rook e6 now on, on queen f6. Or even here, just. Um, okay. Can I just, I don't know, support d pawn? Just sack a pawn to support the pawn. So knight d4 really gaining central control, undermining his control of central squares. I think rookie one might be ruled out. So he's just taking, taking d2 after. I want h4 as well. Rook d5, just harassing the queen. Not Try not to leave a rook hanging, is a good idea. Hmm. Well, there's no h5 now. I'm going to play just d2. Just massively central with uh, rook e5. Or maybe just h5 and see what he does there. This pawn is also quite beautiful. So h5, rook e5, rook e4, rook g4. Okay, he's resigned. Okay, um, yeah, it's <laughs> blunder, isn't it? Just five minutes. Don't take it too seriously, five minutes. It's just mainly for fun. And even if you beat your all-time record on five minutes, don't try the same stuff in long games. <laughs>
it's a different ball game. It's just you can expect lots of more blunders in five minutes. So the importance of having the initiative, you don't have to sort of necessarily look at what the opponent's doing, but in a longer game I think more it's, it's more about counterplay removal, you have to take more care. That's that's my current thinking about five minute chess. Try and keep it a really separate game. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.